Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is season 5 episode 17 and the final episode of season 5 for City signings now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure you drop a like on it if you could try and hit 60 likes on today's episode that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload and make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Nathan Delfonso joining Bradford City on loan until the end of the season this was obviously our final piece of deadline day business it happened on Monday but obviously with the amount of content I've had to get out for you guys over the past couple of days it's been lit pretty much double uploads every day this week apart from today so make sure you check all them videos out if you haven't already share the video around with your family and friends as well but yeah it's our final piece of January business is another strike. We now have six strikers on our books. Obviously, Angle is injured at the moment. Good news, though, he doesn't need surgery on his hamstring injury. But Delfonso joins. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And let's get on with today's video. So at five minutes to midnight on Monday, Bradford City tweeted saying, breaking news, we are delighted to announce the signing of experience forward Nathan Delfonso on loan from Bolton Wanderers. The article does then read, Delfonso rounds off January business. Signed ahead of the 11pm deadline on January the 31st, the frontman arrived at the Utilita Energy Stadium on a deal until the end of the season. A product of Aston Villa's Bodymore Heath Academy, Delfonso has also served spells at Blackpool, Blackburn and Swindon Town. The former England under-21 international 10 goals in 43 starts for the Trotters since joining in August 2020. Delfonso said, I am excited at the prospect of joining a club like Bradford City and I'm looking forward to getting going. I have spoken with the manager and he has clearly outlined the aim of promotion. He believes in me and has shown faith to bring me here so it is up to me to repay that. I scored at Valley Parade last year for Bolton and yeah, that was pretty much like, that game was the start of our, uh, we, did, we were doing so well then we didn't really do very good against Bolton. We got a last minute equaliser which, um, Bolton took the lead in quite late on in that match. Delfonso with a goal then since then. We just never, well, we've, we've not really recovered at all since then, have we really? But yeah, he scored a Valley Parade last year for Bolton. So I'm looking forward to playing there in a Bradford City shirt and just cannot wait to get out on the field and help the club achieve its goals for this season. Bantam's boss, Derek Adams, added, we have uh, pursued Nathan from the beginning of the transfer window and now delighted to finally have the deal done. He has the vast experience in the English game and can play in a variety of different attacking positions. He's a direct, pacey player with the ability to score goals and provide assists so we're looking forward to seeing him in action for Bradford City AFC. Delfonso is now available to sponsor with his signing subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. He was obviously ineligible for the match against Leighton Orient. Obviously with him coming from Bolton they also tweeted at 5 minutes to 12 saying Nathan Delfonso has joined Skybet League 2 side Bradford City on loan until the end of the season. All the best Delph. Uh, Delfonso secures Bradford move. Frontman joins League 2 side on loan until the end of the season. Delfonso made 20 first team appearances for the White City season but most come via the bench and following the arrivals of Deon Charles, John Daddy Bod Vardson and Kieran Sadlier during the transfer window. Delfonso moves to Bradford for the chance to, of more regular first team football. Delfonso who's 30, I think he actually turned 31 yesterday and we didn't wish him happy birthday but Bolton did. Unless I missed it, I'm pretty sure we didn't wish him happy birthday but um, Delfonso 30 joined Wanderers on a two year deal at the start of last season and scored six times as Ian Everts men won promotion from League 2. Wanderers wish him well in his time at Bradford. Now if you have a look at Nelson Delfonso's career, he's been at quite a lot of clubs to be honest with you. He started out his youth career with Aston Villa from 2006 to 2008, then was in the first team from 2008 to 2014 playing 31 times, scoring twice. In 2011 he went out and loaned to Burnley playing 11 times scoring once 2012 he went out on loan to Leicester where he played four times and failed to score 2012 to 2013 he was with Blackpool uh, where he scored six times in 41 then he went there uh, in 2013 to 2014 on loan again where he played 11 times failing to score though on that occasion in 2014 then he joined Coventry on loan where he played 14 times scoring three times 2014 to 2015 he joined Blackpool on a permanent transfer where he played 38 times scoring three goals and in 2015 to 2016 he joined Blackburn where he played 15 times scored once then he went out on loan to Bury where he played four times and failed to score 2016 to 2017 he joined Swindon on a permanent transfer where he played 18 times and scored once then in 2017 he went back to Blackpool until 2020 where he played 125 matches scoring 24 times then obviously in 2020 he joined Bolton on a permanent basis scoring six times in 52 and now he has joined Bradford City on loan until the end of the season he 
was also with the England national team in 2006 to 2007. He was with the under-16s where he scored three times in eight. In 2007 to 2008, he was with the under-17s where he scored three goals in four matches. 2008 to 2010, he was with the under-19s where he scored nine times in 25. Then obviously in 2010 to 2012, he was with England's under-21s where he scored four times in 18. So to say he's a prolific forward who knows how to score goals, according to Derek Adams, he's not really done it at any clubs, to be honest. He's got three, six... His best goal return was what nearly a one in five for Blackpool, which isn't great. We've got what about twenty games left of the season, so he's going to get four goals if he plays every match. It's not an ideal signing. I think he's going to be used hopefully more as a winger rather than a striker because obviously Vernon's quite injury prone. Gilead's not the greatest. Eater's out for pretty much the rest of the season and. That's it in terms of out and out wingers. Obviously, we've been playing Walker and Daly on the wing. It just doesn't work. They just play far too narrow. So, hopefully, Delfonso comes in. You know, six foot one. He's a decent height for a striker. You know, it, we, if he is going to play as a striker, it does mean we have six strikers now, which I just can't see him using all them players as a striker. He played Theo Robinson on the wing for like the last 10 minutes on Tuesday night, did Derek Adams. And I mean, he did okay, but it's definitely not his position because as much as he shows a lot of effort and, you know, he runs around quite a lot, he doesn't really have the technical ability to actually dribble with the ball. So maybe. Delfonso is going to come in as a winger obviously he will be available for Saturday's match against Harrogate. My match preview for that will be out tomorrow at around 4 o'clock obviously as I said there has been a lot of videos out on the channel over the past couple of days so if you have missed anything that happened on deadline day trust me there will be a video out on the channel just click on it and scroll back you'll be able to find all that sort of stuff all different content out on the channel now that January's done content on the channel will slow down a little bit I can have a little bit of a rest as well so that's uh, great to see. If we have a look then at what Bolton fans had to say about him leaving the club, without this man we would still be in League 2, remember that, and it's a picture of them celebrating uh, the match against, obviously when we played Bradford. Uh, only the real Bolton fans know that, he gave everything the shirt, everything for the shirt and that's all we ever asked for. Um, thank for your efforts, Delph. Huge contribution last season, some vital goals, a good look at Bradford City. Provided a great assist for one of the most important goals of last season away at Forest Green Rovers, but not cut out for this level, obviously Bolton are the league above us. Never seemed to fight for the shirt. Good bit of business letting him go. All the best funds. Um, good luck, Dale. You have been, you have given all for our club, and I wish you nothing but success at Bradford. Good luck, Dale boy. I mean. He's probably not going to be called Del Boy. That's what we like to call Derek Adams. And I don't think it's a great thing that we call him that. Made some good memories with us and signed for us while we were at our lowest. The step up to League One was too much, but I'll always appreciate what you did for us last season. Uh, good luck. Go and smash it. All the best, Delph. May you go on to bigger and better things. Thanks for all you gave, particularly last season. When he played up front alongside Doyle, he got eight goals. Um, have I forgotten something here? I mean, maybe he scored some goals in competitions that aren't the league, uh, but it says here he's only got six in 52, so I don't know what this Bolton fan's on. Maybe he's got a few of his statistics wrong, but uh, then he was shoved out wide, which isn't his position. Hopefully he can do well at Bradford. So according to this Bolton fan, he definitely does a lot better as a striker rather than as a winger so maybe he'll come in and be that support to Andy Cook because I think we do need to play two up front when we put a, what do we have three four strikers on the pitch in that last 10 minutes on Tuesday night we actually look like we might actually score a goal but when you have one up front and it's Andy Cook as well like as much as he can hold the ball he, he can't run around for 90 minutes on his own he needs some support so hopefully on Saturday we'll see two strikers I'm not one of these people that is adamant we have to play a 4-4-2 I just think we have to play with two strikers we obviously did a lot better when Angle was coming in off the left and supporting Andy Cook as another striker striker so fingers crossed Delfonso will come in and play as a striker for us as if we look at some more of the comments wishing Delph the best of luck with the Bantams decent player who doesn't deserve some of the abuse he gets wishing you on the best Nathan your goal at home to Bradford City last season was so critical points wise now go and earn yourself a permanent deal thank you for the contribution last season so Bolton fans seem to have mixed opinions of him. The general idea I get is he did quite well for them last season. He obviously scored some uh, important goals, got some decent assists as well at times when they did need it. Obviously, this season hasn't played all too much. They've you know, tried to replace him in this January transfer window and that has allowed him to go out on loan because he's really not been up to standard for Bolton so far this season. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like as always would be massively appreciated. If you could join it, 60 likes. As I said at the start of today's video, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when i upload make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on this sign and what are your thoughts in the january transfer window as a whole have we improved have we gone backwards let me know obviously i would like to see a little bit more investment 
from Stefan Rupp. Unfortunately, we didn't get that like we were promised, but it's just, you know, a lot of loans and all that sort of stuff. Share the video around with your family and friends as well. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you all tomorrow at 4 o'clock for the match preview. Peace.